What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Adrian, the problem Broner. Adrian has another problem amongst him. Adrian Broner arrested over outstanding warrant in Ohio. According to the Cincinnati Inquirer, former four-division world champion Adrian Broner was arrested by Covington Police Sunday morning over an outstanding warrant for the Cuyahoga County. Kenton County's court arrest records indicate that Broner was brought in by police around 1 a.m. Sunday and later released on a $25,000 cash bond. Broner, who is no stranger to legal issues, is, is expected to return to court on October 11th. Cuyahoga, or Huga, Cuyahoga County Court issued a warrant for Broner's arrest in August for violating his probation sentencing. In 2019, Broner pled guilty to a misdemeanor charges of assault and unlawful restraint and was sentenced to probation. On March 23rd, Broner failed to appear for a probation violation hearing in court. As a, resor as a, as a result, a warrant for his arrest was sent to the Cuyahoga County Sheriff. But the warrant for Broner's arrest was recalled on April 14th. Broner then appeared in court on April 26th and his probation sentencing was extended an extra year to April 2022. He was also ordered to enter an extensive outpatient treatment program. On August 28th, Broner failed to enter a treatment program and then a second warrant was for his arrest and according to the records. Back in February, Broner returned to the ring for the first time in over two years and won 12-round unanimous decision over unbeaten Giovanni Santiago. Broner is still much in high demand with numerous junior welterweight and welterweight contenders calling him out in recent months. Let me counterpunch. Whatever Broner does, and he's had a history, a slew, a trail of like a caterpillar, of stuff that he's done. And a lot of the stuff that he's done is the fact that when he was initially punished, he didn't follow up what he's supposed to do. I think Adrian Broner is at a point of his life and, and he's like, I think he's only like 30, 31, 32. He's still fairly young. Okay. Um, I think a guy, he, he, he peaked early. And then if you want to compare Adrian Broner to somebody really compare him to Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson had a similar history he was also a very young champion. He did a lot of things very early in his career. I think Mike Tyson excelled tremendously more because he made more money. It was more buzz. You know, he was the youngest heavyweight. But Adrian Broner was also a guy that was very, very young doing things that people at that age wasn't doing. Okay, look, just look at the lightweight division right now. And that, can, that should tell you a history, right? Probably the exception of Tio. But um, it's like, I think... Um, <clears throat> Adrian Broner, he needs to understand that, hey, it's like paying your bills. There, it's, it's, it's honoring your responsibilities. Is when he figures that out because he's trying to stop with the drugs and the drinking and the partying and as much. And he had to detox from all that stuff. He had to. You know, and I think this is something that he has to make account of himself. And that's one of the steps of detoxing from all that stuff is doing what you're supposed to do. It's steps to that particular process, okay? And I think Adrian Broner, is, well, as long as he has that mouthpiece, as long as he can fight somewhat, because he's not the fighter he used to be, but he's a tough guy, he'll fight anybody, as long as he's very entertainable, I think he will always have a check. But I think that's not the problem. Because see, at some point, where he lives, he needs to move, okay? Let's just be real. He needs to get the hell out of Cincinnati, Ohio altogether. Move somewhere else. Don't move to Chicago. Don't move to a big place. Move somewhere else, Virginia. You know what I mean? Somewhere or farther. You know what I mean? Move to Pensacola. Move somewhere that you can have a fresh start and you can do things, you know what I mean? And and, and really take it easy and really enjoy your family. Because at this point, if he's all or if you do what you've always doing, you're gonna get what you've always got. Okay, so I think that's what's wrong with Adrian Broner at this point. He's just accustomed to doing the same stuff. And the things that he did in the yesteryear back in the day, they're coming to haunt him because he didn't fully take advantage in doing those things properly, you know. But on a flip note, Adrian Broner, <clears throat> whenever he does anything, it's going to be amplified, okay? So that's what happens when you start getting in trouble and you're a celebrity. People are going to amplify it, whereas some boxers 
you don't hear any of this shit. You know what I mean? We didn't hear a lot about the Sergey Kovalev sexually assaulting that woman. We didn't hear much about that. We still don't. You know, Oscar De La Hoya had a, had a similar uh, uh, offense back in the 90s. You didn't hear anything about it because he was the face of Puma. He was the golden boy. So, you know, it's, it depends on what type of um, uh, light that you're shined in. You know what I mean? What? Where are you? You know, where are, what's, what's the, your perspective? Where has people placed you? Okay, where have they shelved you at? And that depends on if they want to exploit your name, depending on what you did bad, you know, based on who you are, who you have made your, uh, um, who you've uh, made a name for. What have you made a reputation for, in other words, right? So that's what they're doing with Adrian Broner. I think Adrian Broner needs to be cool. Take his ass to court today. <laughs> Right. And stay out of trouble. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Adrian Broner being arrested yet again. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys can counterpunch. Peace.